A parent's a desperate search for help leads to the creation of a nonprofit organization now helping hundreds, if not thousands, of children struggling with diabetes. Our Mikey Menes brings us the story. Just a day before Matthew Garrett and his family were to celebrate his third birthday, Matthew became lethargic and was not himself, even wanting to cancel his Chuck E. Cheese birthday party. It was the weekend, so his parents researched his symptoms online. We really didn't like what we were reading. Uh, we didn't tell each other because we were really hoping and praying that we were wrong. First thing Monday morning, a visit to his pediatrician showed Matthew had a blood sugar reading of 654. And he goes, your son has diabetes. I've already contacted uh, the hospital. We have a room ready for him to go in there. You do not go home and get closed. Matthew had type 1 diabetes and it took eight days to stabilize him, leaving his parents time to wonder what they did wrong. And Garrett says after leaving the hospital, he was lost and wanted answers. The answers would come from the South Texas Juvenile Diabetes Association. We've worked really hard to uh, work with our local hospitals to make sure that families know upon diagnosis that they're not alone in their journey, that there's a local organization that is there for them. Executive Director of STJDA, Deborah <sighs> Franco says the organization was born out of sheer need and founded eight years ago after her own son was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Sent to Driscoll's in Corpus for treatment, she said there were no doctors or hospitals in the valley who could treat him. And it was just really frightening not to have a support system when you have a child that's been diagnosed with a chronic disease. The organization is often the first resource for parents through programs like the ShotSpot Bears. And with type 2 diabetes on the rise with children in the RGV, educational outreach programs like Stomp Out Diabetes, which reach more than 22,000 kids. Families receive that box uh, at all of the area hospitals, along with helpful literature, uh, books to get them started, of this journey and a form that they can fill out asking uh, them for information so that we could reach out to them. Matthew Garrett is now five and his diabetes under control thanks to a monitor which tests his blood sugar every five minutes, sending a notification to his parents' smartphone. Matthew's doctor says his diabetes stems from a virus which attacks cells in his pancreas, blocking it from producing insulin. Harlan Garrett says he can't say enough good things about STJDA and all the support his family has received. We are there to support families. We ourselves are families dealing with this disease. And the compassion is there, the empathy is there, and the support system is there. In McAllen, I'm Mike Jimenez for KBO Local 23 News.